today i am going to teach you the next topic that is fiber to fabric fiber means first of all see this figure there is a cloth is made by using this cotton but this will be done only in some way or by using some process and what are the process are used or involved to make a fabric from its raw material is the aim of this chapter and we will try to understand how can we make or manufacture a fabric fabric means cloth with the help of its fiber this figure is a, so the cotton plant and from cotton plant we get thread and by this thread we make cloth in the industry first of all here we have to know about the fiber what is fiber it is a single strand thread like structure which is used for making cloth is called fiber fiber mean suppose that we take some cotton ball this white cotton as shown in this figure with their shades is called cotton ball and if we take this cotton ball and pick up from the cotton ball just a small piece or a smallest or thinner piece of strand in hindi it is called resa a small piece of strand if we picked up or stretch out from the cotton ball this small strand is called fiber and it is very very fine and thin in nature in hindi we call it resa so fiber we can defined as a fiber is a very thin thread like strand or we can also say structure from which cloth is made we may obtain variety of fibers from different different plants and some fibers we may also obtain from the animals the fibers which are obtained from the different plants are called natural fibers and the fibers which are obtained from some animals are called or which are made from some introduction of some chemicals into the fibers 
or more precisely we can say that the fibers which are obtained from the chemical combination of some raw material are called synthetic fibers synthetic fibers for example if we want to make a nylon cloth it is made from the some raw materials in which some raw materials are used here basically in this chapter we will study about the some natural fibers which are obtained plants as well as some animals so variety of fiber are used to make variety of fabrics fabrics means cloth from the fiber to fabric there is some process happens in between them and if you see this figure this is we can obtain the fiber from this cotton ball or any other raw material and this fiber can be converted into a thread by using some process like spinning and by another process like weaving and knitting we can obtain the cloth from the thread so let us go from the beginning one by one already i discuss what is fiber again i repeat this definition fiber is a very fine thread like structure from which cloth is made and there are variety of fibers we obtain nowadays like cotton fiber woolen fiber silk fiber and some are the synthetic fibers which are made synthetic fibers are made by the chemical combination of some raw materials in the industries so cotton fibers woolen fibers silk fibers are natural fibers in which cotton and jute fibers are obtained from the plants and the woolen or silk fibers are obtained from the animals woolen fiber are obtained from the seeds which we will study in next class and silk fibers also obtained from a silk moth insect which helps to make the silk from the silk plant or satut plant so there are variety of fibers we obtained from the surroundings and we can prepare variety of fabrics like cotton fabrics woolen fabrics silk fabrics and synthetic fabrics 
द नेक्स्ट वन इज वॉट आर फेब्रिक्स मेड ऑफ ऑलरेडी आई ब्रीफली डिस्कस दिस पॉइंट फैब्रिक इज फाइनल प्रोडक्ट फैब्रिक मीन्स क्लोथ एंड क्लोथ इज अवर फाइनल प्रोडक्ट एंड इट इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द फाइबर्स and fibers first of all go through some process for making fabric and the first one is it may be spinning and then after it if we perform weaving and knitting process we can obtain our final product that is called fabric or cloth so fabrics are made up of yarns which are in turn made from fibers yarn means just uh, we can say that yarn is sewn first of all say this figure we can say it yarn and by this yarn we can make it cloth easily but here some process are done or used to make thread most commonly we can say yarn is thread dhaga in hindi if it is called dhaga and woven together we need to do some process like weaving and knitting if you want to get cloth by this dhaga or we can say that yarn or thread so in class 6 science what are the different of fibers are used to make a cloth are given and we need to study this about this fibers one by one first of all here is mentioned cotton fiber as we earlier saw in the figure cotton is a white soft fluffy material fluffy it mean soft type of material and it look, look like very white is in color so we can say that co cotton is a white soft and fluffy material and if we hold a piece of cotton piece of cotton and pull it apart we will see a large number of very thin and tiny thread strand these very thin small strands are called fiber and there are variety of fibers are available nowadays so mostly we can classify or differentiate the fibers into two categories the first one is natural fibers and the second one is synthetic fibers as the name suggest natural means the fibers which are obtained from the nature are called natural fibers for example cotton we obtain cotton from the nature from the cotton plant and it is a natural thing wool is also obtained from the sheep silk 
is also obtained from a silk mod it is a type of right flax is also obtained from jute is obtained from jute plant so the fibers which are obtained from natural sources like plants or it may be an animals are called natural fibers the fibers which are obtained from natural sources like plants and animals are called natural fibers and for example some natural fibers are cotton wool silk flax and jute in which cotton flax and jute are obtained from the plants and wool and silk are obtained from the animals the fibers which are obtained from the chemical substances in the industry yani by the addition or or combination of some different chemical substances in the industry are called synthetic fibers in class 5 science already you will some briefly study about the synthetic materials which are also obtained from the synthetic fibers like nylon polyester and polyacrylic these are the synthetic fibers or we can also say artificial fibers or manufactured fibers because these fibers are obtained by the chemical combination of some substances in the industry and the example of synthetic fibers are nylon polyester polyacrylic and so on and how can we distinguish between a natural fiber and a synthetic fiber it can be detected easily by performing some test and one of the test is we can differentiate between a natural fib- fiber and synthetic fiber by using burning test if we burn the fabric or the fiber of natural type it gives a small of smell of burning paper and it doesn't melt and form beads beads are small small type of ball beads uh, and if you burn a uh, synthetic fiber or synthetic fabric it gives a smell of burning hair and if it is woolen fabric it doesn't mail and doesn't form beads on burning so in simple way we can differentiate between a natural fiber and synthetic fibers by performing burning test if you burn the natural fiber it burns vigorously and giving a smell of burning paper and if we burn a synthetic fiber like wool it giving the smell of burning hair
so let us discuss about the cotton fiber it is a natural fiber and it obtained from the cotton plant see this figure this is a field of cotton plants and how cotton balls are evolved from this plant already we know that a cotton plant most preferable soil is black soil and it require about 20 to 25 degree temperature when the cotton balls are blow out or bulging out it is the favorable condition for the cotton plant and cotton crop is usually grown at a places already i will say having black soil and warm soils so this type of soil and environment are mostly found in the states of maharashtra andhra pradesh madhya pradesh and gujarat so cotton plant or cotton we obtain mostly from these states we obtain from these states after removing the cotton ball from the its plants we need to perform a process that is called ginning and in ginning process it is the process of the in which separation of cotton fibers from the cotton seeds which are present in the cotton ball are is done so so what is ginning ginning is the process of separation of cotton fibers from the seeds hence it is the process of separation of cotton fibers from the seeds the next type of fiber is also a natural fiber and that is flax it is also obtained from plant the name of the plant is flax plant and so this is called flax fibers the cloth made up of stem fibers of flax is called linen or linen we also call linen the cloth made of stem fibers of flax is called linen and it is used for making bed sheet etc flax plants are also cultivated in fields to obtain fibers for making fabrics in this figure this shows flax fabric fibers and the next jute fiber and this is coconut fiber jute fiber is also is a type of natural fiber and it is obtained from jute plant in hindi it is called patsan also jute is mainly grown in west bengal state bihar and assam it is cultivated mainly in rainy season it is harvested from the fields when they are at flowering stage the jute fiber is used to make ropes and jute bags jute bags are also called gunny bags and 
one of the also a natural fiber that is called coconut fiber it is also used for making ropes and mats so in this video we studied some natural fibers briefly and another part of or portion of the chapter i will teach in my next video let us note down some questions on the basis of this video first of all name the animal from which wool is most commonly obtained wool is more sheep what are the name of the animal sheep name one fiber obtained from the stem of plants stem of plants flax fiber name any two states in india where jute is mainly grown it is mainly grown in west bengal bihar and assam name two stems items sorry name two items that are made from coconut fiber rocks and mats which of the two are stronger natural fiber or synthetic fiber do it yourself from which part of the plant cotton fiber is obtained do it yourself question number s on 5 6 7 8 Question number first to eight. You can do it as your homework. Okay.